attack mm -hmm. a terror attack in this video we are going to be looking at how to convert pdf to an editable document yes you heard that right most of the time uh, i see that some people struggle a lot with this and what they do conventionally is just open such pdf in word some of the times it doesn't it doesn't really make it editable but what i'm going to use is kind of like a cheat code that you could use to convert any pdf to an editable word document okay so stay with me on this okay so um the first thing we're going to do is you have to get the file okay um, for the purpose of the practice i'm going to use this file right here how you will be assessing IGCSE ICT. I'm currently an ICT teacher, um, a Cambridge ICT teacher. So I'm just going to use this, okay, just to, um, this is, um, I think I've opened the file down here. Okay, this is how the file is. I just want to just, you know, I want to say to my student, maybe just edit some things, take some of the things out, just, you know, just to show them that, okay, this is how you're going to be assessed. And maybe take this part out as well. Maybe just, it's 0417 for us and we we're not using the cost code 0983 maybe i will take this part out okay so um what i would do here is um i think i can close this okay so what i would do here is i'm going to go to my web browser and i'm going to use this site it's called adobe.com slash acrobat slash online slash pdf toward dot html okay now the the thing is it is free but after converting one document you have to pay to you know um keep upgrading for more but what i want to show you today is how you can um as much as possible um convert your pdfs to word over and over and over again so once i've done with this okay um i'm just going to now i don't want to do um you can actually click here on select a file and then you have to choose where it is or you could just do a drag and drop okay for drag and drop this means you just have to um hold your mouse or your touchpad and then drag it here right to drag and drop and then there it, there we have it and the next thing that is going to convert it okay it's going to convert it and uh, yes it's very fast in converting uh, especially the size and then here okay uh, now it's telling me that this file is ready but now the problem is probably i think i've converted the file already for um using adobe already so how do you go about when you've exhausted that number of times and you have the option of signing in? and if you have to sign in it simply means that um you can do that when you sign in but then again you have to pay okay what i would do now is i'm going to click on the three dot and i'll click on new incognito window again the three dot new incognito window and then i can do adobe um, dot com slash acrobat slash online slash pdf dot word okay and then i'm going to open it here okay again i'm just going to drag that file down here okay drag it here okay and it's still it's gonna convert okay and then now we can now download it okay i can now download it so i'll click on download and it's going to show me where to download it so i'm it's going to at default it will take you to your download that if you've made chrome a location of the downloads in your download okay you can also change it to any part or any um, directory that you want it to be and then i'm going to click on save and then we have it downloaded so we can come here to see um the location of the file which is here and then we can now open it okay so at this point now it's going to show open in word and then we'll click on enable editing okay so once i click on enable editing now you notice that i can take off the guide you can see that i can take off the guide i can undo this and then again my assess i can take off the d put a d here um and much as possible i can now come here to say you know what i don't want this i want him to just see this alone and um, i can just click here hit on my tab to just um bring it to the end of it 
and now i have everything here editable i have everything right here editable i can take the s type the s here so i have everything here editable so this is how you can do that and then you can now save it whatever name you want to do that i hope this um video was very helpful for you please do well to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe to um agile tech i will see you in the next video this is how awesome and how simple it is okay and then once you're done with it export it and you're good to go all right thank you very much and um take care and see you in the next one